I think sometimes uh, some of us, especially if we're taught in schools, uh, uh, well off with resources, um, we forget sometimes that there's a whole world out there of students who are sitting in classes listening to a teacher, and that's all that they get. And I think it's not new, what Susan's saying in a way, that we need to involve kids in learning. But what's new is, what has to, has to happen, is we need to get it to everyone. Uh, thank you, Susan. So now, we're going to look at some, uh, a happy topic, uh, with this uh, Parisha uh, Esmar Kroos. long time. 
It might be just two, two hours, it might be one year, or it might be a hundred years. But that's all you've got because you don't have anything else. That's what you've got. You don't know where you came from, you don't know where you're going to. The only thing you have is what you have right now. So it's about what you want to do with that time that you have. Now I have a documentary for you that I want you to see. In this documentary, I have asked different people who are randomly selected what they think happiness is and whether they are happy or not based on what they have said. My name is Mafia, I'm in grade 7 and I'm grade 2. My name is Sandra Zanishvili, I'm 17 years old and I'm in the lowest grade. My name is Nata, I'm 15 years old and I'm in just grade. But my name is Nadia, I'm 12 years old and I'm in grade 7. Nana Palacia, um, we're up in school, teacher, and a librarian. So, how do you define happiness? Um, happiness is, I guess, something really positive, something that
which might sound a little bit clear, but everyone knows I no. keep asking those kind of questions. So I wanted to ask you, who are you? Who am I? Maybe really know the answer of that beside our name or last name? I don't really think so. What we are right now is the decisions that we need. The choices in our life. Because that's what real life is about, right? I mean, taking one path, going this way or another, that's what the whole living thing is about. So if, as an example, if I go to a film school, I would not be the same person as it goes to the normal school and studies for literature. I will be a different person because of the decisions that I made. So since we don't know what will happen after we die, or, you know, we don't know anything. So since we don't know what will happen, I think we have to hold on to that decision. Well, making decisions is not easy. It's very hard to make decisions for your own life, especially when you want to turn from you know, being a teenager to a young adult. Because you have to make decisions what subjects you want to take, what university you want to go, what do you want to be when you grow up, what are you going to do with your life. There's so many decisions you have to make. Like, I just want to push them back and be like, leave me alone. Like, someone, please make those decisions for me. Because that's all our responsibility. Like making those decisions is going to be the person I'm going to become. So how do I do this? Like in that life, in that miserable path that I have, where do I get to be happy? The you saw this, like I mentioned, that I asked for young people whether they were happy or not. Most of them told me that they were not happy, but they're young and they have a whole life ahead of them. And understand why they're not happy. It's because of their perspective, you see? It all comes back to the perspective you have towards your life. Now, all of you in this room, what do you have in your life? Do you have the basic needs to survive? Did you have education system? What are you right now? Where are you right now? You're not in Africa. You're here. And you have whatever it takes to survive. Now, what we look for in our life is quite different. Because we go out and we want to find things that are bigger than what we are. That's that's how we live our life. We look up to someone who is bigger than us and greater than us. And that's how we do it, because we think that we are a role model. So, I'm telling you today, after you leave this room, I'm begging you to do this. Change the perspective that you have. You don't need to go out and just go through this gigantic adventure for Finding what happiness is, you just have to look for it inside yourself. Because happiness isn't always about being rich or being famous. Happiness isn't always about making peace. Happiness is about the little things in life. Happiness is about the wonderful drops of rain. You know how amazing is the circulation of water? How it goes on and on and on and it never ends? How incredible is that? I mean, have you ever thought about a sunny day? How sun works? How earth rotates? Have you ever thought of that? How incredible all these little things go together just for you to be here? I think that's the most important thing. And now if you look at what we've got, we we can very, very easily like, see it. It's just there, we have to see it. That it's not about what we have got, it's about what we make of what we've got. So I'm asking you today, after leaving this room, to do me this favor and change your perspective. The littlest thing, maybe not very little, but the little things in life will make you the happiest person on the planet. Such as being with your friends, or with your parents, with your family, or giving birth, or just running outside the rain, just dancing in the rain, doing all the incredible work that you're allowed to do. So my father told me that life is asking you for something. You have to give, give, and give. It's not always about taking what 
you want. It's about giving too. And that was when I realized that so if I'm here because I was meant to, then what if, what if I do something great? What if, as an example, I get Oscar? What about that? So I'm saying that if I mean that, it's not about only winning a trophy. It's about the path that you go through. It's about the decisions you make into the worst times. It's about capturing that happy moment and remember it forever. Thank you.